Hi there, it's Laura here from My Heart Planners, and in this video I want to share with you my best packing tips. Me and Timothy here and my daughter Savannah are getting ready to go on a road trip and we want to show you how we pack so there's less stress, so we don't forget things, and so everything's all organized and we can actually find it. Um, if you're going to go on a road trip or if you know someone who is, be sure to share and then if you like these organizing videos, be sure to hit subscribe so you can hear more. All right, so our first tip is to create a packing checklist. This will make sure you don't forget anything. Anytime something comes up before your trip that you don't want to forget, instead of trying to cram it all in your head, you can just write it down. And of course, we have created a free printable kit just for you to download to help you get started. It has three sheets. It has a pre-filled travel checklist, so make sure you don't forget anything. It has a blank one in case you want that. And then it has my personal favorite and the one that I use all the time. And it's the blank travel checklist with four categories. And I'm gonna show you toward the end of the video exactly how I use it and why I love it so much. Our next tip is to use packing cubes. They look something like this. Um, they're zippered compartments in different sizes. And this allows you to put your items, to group them together so that you don't have to fish through a whole pile of stuff in your suitcase. Now I've used a lot of packing cubes and these are by far my favorite. And I'll tell you why. Now I know they don't look like too much. They're so thin. That's because they're so lightweight. They add no extra bulk, no extra weight to your suitcase, which is great if you're flying or even if you're like me and you actually have to pick the thing up and you don't want it to weigh like 70 pounds. Um, so these are great. I just love how they add no bulk. They just zip right closed. They're mesh and breathable. Um, they come in perfect sizes. And the other thing that I love about them, and this may just be me personally who likes my suitcase to look really neat, but they fit like perfectly because the um, skinny cube is exactly half of the big cube. And then the little cube fit two to a skinny cube, so when you stack them in your suitcase, it looks really neat and tidy. Another great way to pack, especially for kids, if you don't wanna use packing cubes, is to use Ziploc bags. Their clothes are so small, you can fit an entire outfit in a Ziploc bag, and that's what I like to do when I use these, is I put the pants, the socks, the shirts, even the hair bow, everything is together, except for the shoes, because they're a little bulkier, and I feel like they're kinda dirty, so I don't wanna put those together but it's so easy to just grab and the whole outfit is together and if when I'm at my destination somebody else is getting them dressed they know exactly what I want them to wear, to wear and the outfits are already put together. Alright my next packing tip and this is a game changer for anyone is to have duplicates of like all of your toiletry items one set for home and one set for your travel cosmetic bag so you can keep it packed all the time. So this is my travel cosmetic pack bag and all of this stuff I also have it home so this just stays packed. I grab it and it's already done. The only thing that I don't have duplicates of is some of my makeup that goes bad quickly like my um, mascara and things like that. I do have to grab a couple items and add them to this cosmetic bag but that's it and that saves so much time. That way I don't forget anything and it's really not very expensive to buy like an extra thing of deodorant and an extra brush and extra I always have a shower cap and things like that. It's pretty easy to do and it will save you so much time. All right, another helpful thing, especially if you don't have the duplicate cosmetics or if you only have some, is when you're doing your makeup the day before, as you use an item, just leave it out on the counter and then you'll know what you need and everything that's out on the counter, just throw it into a cosmetic bag and you're ready to go. Next, I highly recommend that you pack up the car the day before. Anything that you can go ahead and put in the car, pack it up. That way you're not scrambling around when you're trying to leave, trying to get all the suitcases to fit. Most of the work is done for you. Now, of course you're gonna have a few things that you, you need to use the day that you're leaving that you can't pack up. So go ahead and leave one suitcase or bag for those things and pack up the rest. Another tip, and this is a total game changer for me, is to use a packing list like we already mentioned, but in my packing list, I like to have one category for those last minute items, those things that I cannot get until the day of. That way, the morning that I'm leaving, I'm just checking all of those things off, and anytime I think of those things, I add them to that part of the list. So that really makes sense as a good way to categorize for me. And these are things like my Apple Watch, my Apple Watch charger, my phone charger, just things that I need that morning. I know what they are, I can put them in that bag that I left out, and then we are ready to go. 
All right, so I hope these tips helped you. And if you want even more, we've written a more comprehensive list on our blog. So go ahead and click the link below. And definitely don't forget to download your free packing checklist. And if you like this, be sure to share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because we have lots more organizing videos planned for you. So I hope this helps you on your next road trip. Savannah, where are we going on our next road trip? Grandma's house. Yes. And do you like it when we pack everything and have everything we need? Yes. Yes. Do you help mommy pack? Yes. Yes. You're a great helper, I aren't pack, you? I'm going to pack my backpack too. You are. You backpack with your toys. All right. Bye guys. See you later. You want to say bye? Bye.